YouTube family. It is I, Sonika. Oh, good morning. I don't know those who have seen my um, morning test with the FRA um, first response. And there was a line. There was a nice pink line. And for those who missed it, see if I can get this thing to pick it up but I don't know can you see that it's so pretty even with my chemicals I didn't get a pink line this pink it was just like a shadow but um oh praise lord praise lord I mean, I'm still wondering, like, is it the trigger? <clears throat> but I'm, I don't know. I'm 99% sure that it's not the trigger. Oh, but I, I woke up that morning and I was feeling so nauseous. Um, the sun is like blinding me. I'm in my car right now waiting for my niece to get off of school. They got out of school early today and uh, picking her up so she could stay with me for the weekend. But, um, what was I about to say? Oh, my test. So, I took the test. I had held, I held my urine for, like, I just remember having the urge to pee at about five. And, uh, I held it. And when I woke up at eight something, I swear I thought I used the bathroom for myself because I didn't have the urge to go really, really bad. And I was like, did I use the bathroom for myself? Did I, or did I go? I was like. Did I go? I was like, I don't have to go right now. I'm like, did I go? And I kept thinking, but did I go? But then as soon as I got up, oh my goodness, the urge came in and I had to go run to the bathroom. And um, so I took the test and I also took a internet cheapie, which I'm going to show y'all. Hopefully y'all can see it. Hold on. Okay, so I took... uh. These internet cheapies. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's put it against that. Maybe. Hmm. Can y'all see that? It's so sunny out here. The lighting is not that good. But those are the ones I took. Uh, this was from yesterday. And then I believe the bottom one is from this morning. And then I took my, this is the pregnancy test, urine test that I got from Clinical Guard. And then I um I went ahead and took the <clears throat> first response after I saw that the line was still there. And there's my baby. Oh, I think you can see it really good. I don't know. But, y'all, I am, um, oh my goodness, I am feeling so sick to my stomach. I've been sick since I woke up this morning, and it's like, I'm nauseated, but I'm hungry at the same time, and then my stomach starts growling, and then, but I think about eating, and I'm like, mm, I feel like I'm about to throw up, and, oh, it's such a wonderful feeling. <laughs> I welcome it all. I, I I can be miserable the whole nine months for all I care. But I welcome it all. Um, telling my husband, that is, I don't know. Because when we was talking the other day, when we were talking the other day, and he asked me, uh, when, when was I going to test? And I told him Friday. And he was like, what, next Friday? He said, it should be. He said, yeah, you should know by next Friday. And I was like, okay. But I was talking about this Friday. But he was talking about next Friday, which is Christmas. And then he was like, well, actually, you should know after next Friday. For sure. And I'm thinking, hmm. 
I'm guessing all the times I've come to him with my faint, faint, faint positives, and he just was like, mm, I don't know, are you? Is, is that real? So maybe he wants to see a definite, like, solid two lines. So I'm trying to figure out how am I going to tell him. Like, for as long as I can remember, I've always fantasized about telling him like in this like I don't know romantic surprising way like giving it to him as a gift like I always wanted to give it to him as a gift and just him being surprised out of nowhere and even though you know we did uh follow stem and IUI I mean he knows that but that's just like any other month that we've been trying. I mean, he knows it's a possibility, but he just doesn't know for sure. So, I don't know. It's like I'm thinking about Christmas, like doing the digital. And then I have this box that, that I bought him a bracelet in. And I kept that box because I always said, oh, this will fit a nice pregnancy test in it. So, I've been having that box for like years. <clears throat> and... I've always dreamed of like putting the pregnancy test in there and giving it to him or, or getting like a little onesie. I, I don't, I just, I don't know what to do. Like, then I was like, maybe, you know, cause my phone syncs to the TV in the living room. And uh, most of the time he's in the living room uh, watching his DVR, his recordings. And I can remember times I was on YouTube and I made a mistake and pressed uh, two TV and then all my video, like whatever I was watching went on a TV. So I was like thinking, well, maybe like while he's watching a video, I can um, like record something and then send it to the TV while he's watching. And then he'd be like, wait, what the? <laughs> I have, oh my goodness. So many thoughts in my head. I just don't know which one to go with. I mean, part of me was want to say, like, oh, babe, uh, I think it's time to take a test. Let's take a test. And then, you know, go pee on a stick and then have him go look at it. And like, what, what is it? And, you know, just act surprised with him. But I don't know. I just don't know. I've been fantasizing this about this for so long and I just to know that I would have this and then I'm like oh my goodness I can't wait to test tomorrow I just want the line to be darker if the line is oh my goodness and then I'm like should I call my doctor and then I was thinking last night I'm like oh my goodness you know when my lung doctor found out I'm pregnant they're gonna be so mad because you know being pregnancy is not good with a lung disease but like I told y'all before, all things possible with God. God wouldn't have brought me this far if he felt like it was uh, anything bad was going to happen. Everything is according to his plan. And I do believe that everything's going to be all right. Because I've, I've been taking extra care of myself. And I am not in the same place that I was six months ago. You know? So, I think everything's going to be fine. I just... Wondering if, when should I call my OB? Like, should I wait till I get wait till my missed period? Because technically, today my period was supposed to come, and um, it hasn't. Thank you, Jesus. And so, what am I to do? Like, should I just uh, call them when they expect? Because you know, and then I, I'm like, what clinic should I go to? Like, should I go? Maybe I should go to the hospital that I've been going to for my lung disease, so that way, you know, everything will be there. Oh. <clears throat> but I know I'm going to have to see a high-risk doctor. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I don't know. I guess I'm just going to enjoy this. I don't even think I'm going to post this. But uh, today I have, a lot to, I have to go get an oil change, a tune-up, tires rotated, my car detailed. Definitely my car needs to be detailed. I have so much to do. Mm -hmm.